News 8. Dream, visualize, and create. DVC is producing Jamie O'Neill's At Swim Two Boys. It's at the Muck, the multi use community cultural center, December 7th through the 15th. I'm delighted to welcome to the program, back to the show, the adapter, MJ Sevastano, Thanks, along with Shonda Yuri, who is one of the actors uh, in the production. Great to have you both here. Thank you. It's great to be here. MJ, uh, there's a big local feel with this production, and as the adapter, I'm going to start with you. Uh, what inspired you to adapt this story and bring it to the stage? When I first started reading this story, it struck me. It's, it's a beautifully written story. They compare Jamie O'Neill to James Joyce, actually. I'm a lover of words, and it's a heartbreaking story as well. There's, there's history, there's a love story, there's familial relationships, there's so much in it. All right, give us just a little bit of the setting. Get, you know, uh, take us into the time that this is taking place and, and uh, some of the challenges that these characters are facing. Absolutely. So it's set in 1915, 1916 in Ireland. So if you know anything about Irish history, it's a time where there's a lot of conflict. I Ireland is seeking independence from British rule. Yeah. And the, the main character, Jim Mack, is, uh, he's a 16-year-old boy who is growing up in this time period, who is having inner conflict as well as the conflict that's going on in the country at the time. Shonda, you play Jim, mm -hmm. so let's go a little deeper there. Uh, okay. Take a deeper, deeper dive as we're uh, <laughs> at Swim, right? Right. Uh, what, what are some of the challenges that, that Jim is facing? Um, there's a lot. I mean, as MJ said, you know, he's coming of age, he's got this inner conflict, he's also trying to reconcile himself with what Ireland is going through, as well as, you know, his relationships with his father and his brother, who's off fighting World War I. Um, there's just a lot going on for him that he's trying to figure out throughout the play. What do you hope that audiences will take away from this? Um, that it's a love story that, um, you know, no matter what happens, that love is the most important thing. And MJ, from your standpoint, telling stories like this here locally, I mean, obviously that's a focal point for DVC. Mm -hmm. What do you hope that uh, will be accomplished through this, this story in particular? I think really it's about self-acceptance, it's about self-discovery, it's about having the freedom to be who you are, to know who you are, and to be able to have the same rights and privileges as everybody else in, in the country that you live in. And to bring it to the stage, how gratifying is that? I know you put a lot of work in. <laughs> yes, two years I've been working on this piece and it's, it's magnificent to see it come to life and I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Well, we're looking forward to sharing it with our audiences and, and, and having folks check it out. Thank you both for coming in. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Uh, so it's uh, at Swim, two boys, again, at the Muck, the 7th through the 15th. Tickets online, you can get them at a couple of places, dbctheater.com. You can learn more about them there as well. And muck.org, as always, those links are shared on our site at rochesterfirst.com.